Right, like when I walk in the cows, I'll I do this a lot. I'll just turn them around and almost act like I'm settling just a little bit. So they, they listen and, and get used to me turning them around and just with the cows rather than just dry working. And just seems like it makes them pay a little more attention like when you make your cuts and, and stuff like that rather than just doing the dry work all the time. Uh, there's something in front of them and they kind of have to figure out where you're going and what you want them to do. Here I'm going to go up to it, pull him around, and then it gives that cows up there and gives him somewhere to go. And I do that, do that a lot so they have somewhere to go because it seems like very easy to get them bound up and they won't go anywhere. But all like right here, I'll turn him around again, which that cow didn't go anywhere. But I'll walk him by it. I'll go walk him by it here again. And then you can kind of see how he'll free yourself up, but he's also catching the cow in the middle of that turn. You know, sometimes people think, you know, swooping back and forth like this, it makes him move big. Well, it does, but it also makes him think about catching that cow in the middle because you're walking them by it. And like right there. And then when a cow takes a hold, I let him have it. Even though I'm using two hands, I'm not really doing much. Just let the cow pull him through there. Like right there, he feels a little funny on this side. So I'm gonna turn him around. Rather than backing him and holding him and doing all that, give him somewhere to go, even though that cow beat me. And I do a lot of this because it seems like the softer they are, especially these studs, there's a fine line of doing too much and not enough. Right there. Well, I have to, I have to work the cow because I can't. I'm not a good buttons and you know putting all that stuff on. I got to use the cow for these, and it just seems like it makes them think better and move better. And when the cow's more involved, yeah. you know, and and when I even like my show horses, I do a lot of this too. Yeah, you know, I keep. I keep everything very simple and, um, you know, as you've watched Lloyd a million times, his isn't real complicated either. And it's just all about what's in front of them, whether it's a flag, a cow, whatever it might be. And if they'll attach to that, it seems like everything works itself out. Like I'll work the flag at a walk. Have a with that cow. I keep wanting to get a little long and pull him across. He wanted to go a little far out there. Look right there, the cow's gonna beat me. I'm not gonna run to go catch it. Keep him comfortable. Right there, he stopped in a good spot. Right there, he's just a little stiff back through this one way. 